Whoa, guys, alright, welcome back. If any of you haven't noticed, we're back on round two on Legions. If you guys haven't already, I will put a link in the description and in comments down below to make sure, if you guys haven't checked out the first bit of this video, to do that right away if you guys haven't already. But without further ado, let's get right back in to round two. Alright, so, we just finished concluding round one. We're going to take a look and assess the battlefield right quick, very quickly. So, the droids have managed to move in and advance in onto the entwining jungle area that is getting ready to get cut out into the city. Rex is getting ready to get some goodies and that uh, bin on over there. We got some speeders that are getting ready to make themselves all in cozy and hopefully try and get rid of this terrifying force that is just sweeping the field. It's a little slower to reaction than I thought, but either way, by the end of round two, we will have some bloodshed. All right. Boom. All right. So this round, we're going to be doing assault for the Republic and mechanized incursions for the Separatists. For the Separatists, they are going to be going first, but we're going to be activating just the same amount of people as they are over there. So, in the other video, if you guys haven't already, I did actually forget to move that spider droid. But, we're going to move him right there, of course. And then, after doing so, from last round, we are going to then have him just turn about. And he's going to start working his way on down. He's going to practically pop up. I'm going to do some guesstimation right here. Uh, it's about, say right here, right by that moisture evaporator. It's going to basically turn around and climb down. Now, because I actually put rocks on this for real, these, <clears throat> this guy's actually heavy, so it's going to be a little complicated to maneuver. Uh, there we go. Something like that. So he climbs his way on down. <clears throat> he's definitely in range, so he's going to start working on Captain Rex with a little bit of flamethrower juice. Not a lot, but actually, if I can... I might work on these guys because it would be technically two more. If it's in range one, of course. And it is. All right, cool. All right. So we're going to be throwing some flame juice on these speeders if we can. So they do have light cover, but I think that is everything that that goes for the swoop bikes. I do believe. Uh, yep. All right, cool. All right. So we'll go over here. <clears throat> Nose-mounted flamethrower, so it'll be uh, two red and two white, I do believe. Add this weapon to your dice pool for each mini and defending. Yep. So I'm going to go against the super speeder bike just because there's two minis, so I'll be able to get more bang for the buck. Rex, he's just going to be chilling there for a minute. Uh, hopefully I'll uh, be able to use the uh, implosion uh, mechanic. All right. Oof. That didn't work out. <laughs> Be roll this. All right, so we got two hits. Uh, they do have light cover, so that is going to be one bounced off. And it's just going to be one white defense die. And it's going to be one hit. All right, cool. Moving on over to the Republic, we're going to start off with these clones right here. They're going to safely clamber on up. I'm not going to really take any chances with these guys. I really don't want any uh, damage being done to these guys right away. So they're just going to do one move. One or two whole moves as such. They do, or they did change it to where Clamber is just a basic move now. But I'm still going to have the bait. Well. Still acts as an ability. I feel like that's when it should be like. Height 2, though. That's when it should be uh, when you should roll defense die. But we're just going to have it as is. We're going to deal with the old rules for now. They're going to stay there as such. And that's going to be it for them. Moving back over to the droids. We're going to have these guys move right here. These battle droids. They're going to be going up to this spot right here. I do believe it's just going to be a one-move scenario. Yep. Commander isn't going to be able to go up there. But he does have practically heavy cover from this general angle and everything I'd like to say alright now these battle droids are going to definitely open fire on Rex right there 
I would do the speeder bikes. In fact, I will. I want to get them out of the way first before I have to deal with Rex. Next round, I'll deal with him more so. Alright, so we got only one hit, which is going to be cancelled out. So those guys are definitely fine. Just some Battle Droid Fire. Nothing too scary. We're going to go back over here. We're going to have this guy activate. Since he has one damage already taken on him, he's going to perform a compulsory. And he's just going to turn straight this way. He's pretty much just going to float right over the spike once he does his two moves. It's going to be one. It's just going to basically chill up here. And then two. It's going to sit right there pretty much. Ooh. Well. Now the only reason why I'm going to have this guy over here as such. Is because there's going to be an approaching threat eventually. So it's going to be good to put some extra arms up here. And here. As soon as possible. As soon as these guys get grappling hooks hopefully. They'll be able to shoot from there. Or scale down there. But they basically need to deal with this moisture evaporator. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have the droids going to be the ones who's going to be having to try and destroy them. While the clones are going to be trying to keep them. So these guys over here. They're going to really get some moves in on him. But first and foremost we're going to definitely get these guys moving first. These super battle droids. They're going to be doing a hard straight stance. I don't really think they're going to really be de deviating their course. <laughs> they are definitely in range 2 of these uh, speeders, so these speeders are going to be dealing with these guys as well. It's going to be a grand total of... <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see. 5 white and 3 black, which is going to be a grand total of 8 dice in total. Pretty nasty little spray. Unfortunately, these bikes are getting ready to get the full hull of it. They do have light cover. And depending upon which one they're shooting at, which it's going to be the one in the most open. But I'm going to give them heavy cover due to the general position. All right. Well, two crits blow right past that. All right. Let's see if that does anything. And it does. All right. Oh, boy. All right. This is the uh, scary part. All right, so these guys, they're not going to have any haul damage, which is great, but they're getting ready to be on their last few toes. Um, ah, yeah, I'm, I might as well have one of them get lifted up, but I'm going to have the fire get spreaded. It's going to get blasted out a little bit so that they can survive just a teeny tiny little bit more. All right. That's the end for the droids. We're going to go back over here for the clones. These guys are terrified of Grievous. I'm actually terrified of seeing Grievous right there, just like that. These guys are going to aim and just start firing at him. There's nothing really more I can pretty much do. They got commando droids over there, so it's just a matter of time. I could throw them in some cover, but I'd rather just get the aim off so I can just get maximized damage on Grievous as much as possible. So we're going to do an aim and just attack him as such. It's going to be a grand total of five black dice. And we get to re-roll two, so it'll be technically seven. And that will be almost seven. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. All right. That'll be four hits on Grievous, uh, potentially. Let's see if he can scutter out of the way. He manages to dodge one. All right, that sucks. And then one... <laughs> uh, oops! Oops! Uh, Magna Guards! Alright, uh, Grievous is gonna get one hit. That's, that was a nasty little spray on their behalf. We're gonna pop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where is he? Uh, right there. Yeah. Those droids do have surge, but they didn't get any surges, so I'm not really worried about it. Alright, um, down here. And then Magna Guards gonna roll for two of them. A guardian and they block with it. nice cool all right that being said that's going to be the end of the move for the clones oh, that was a nice little clutch for the magna guards we're going to go over here to this stack and just draw right quick we're going to have of course the tactical droid this guy's got the droid troop coordinate so we're going to coordinate it to these guys they don't have a dodge anymore 
So this guy's then going to throw down electro binoculars on these battle droids. I do believe it has to be in range one. Uh, okay, that one's a little far. Ooh, that's a uh, mm, direct droid trooper, range one to two. Yep, okay. And then that can only be of range one. All right. So he is going to. Uh, Bolster range one to two. Bolster two. That's eh, range one. All right, cool. All right. I guess he's just gonna start firing into these guys. <clears throat> I guess why not? It's just two two dice, but I mean, better than nothing. And then we'll have a move up afterwards. So he's gonna have sharpshooters, so their cover is gonna go down to nothing. So it's gonna be two little dice. And we might be able to get a speeder destroyed. Who knows? Oh, man, would you look at that? Oh, well, that was wrong, wrong, wrong one. And he got it off. All right, cool. Speeder lives to fight another day. This guy's a little upset, so he's just going to jump down into the bushes and become undetected. That's the end of the move for the tactical droid. Moving on over here. We're going to start drawing from this stack. We're going to get these guys the hell out of here. They are, they've had their fair share of damage for today. This is definitely an upper-range one, so they're going to just turn this way and just zoom it on out. We're going to wait until the, uh, the brush clears a little bit, the fire, a little chaos, whatever you want to call it. The hell that they just experienced. They're not trying to die just yet. I don't care if they're independent faction or not. <clears throat> these droids over there aren't going to deal with them. So, they're just going to, pretty much, we'll just have it like that, and then with this guy, he's basically going to do two moves, so it's going to be more or less just like this, just like here, so, and then this guy is going to do a little turn. I am going to, mm, no, it is technically vehicle, so it isn't troops. Unfortunately, they aren't able to get that crate. But they will be able to potentially zoom by that bomb and not have to worry about anything else going off. It is definitely not in range one, so we're not going to worry about it. We're going to go over here. First one we got out of the stack is going to be the commando droids. This droid commando right here is ready to get some moisture evaporator damage on. So, he and his groonies are going to do a speed two right into here. And I do believe for the moisture evaporator situation, they have to spend a move to do one damage to it. Set up. Uh, starting with the blue player, alternate placing tokens on the battlefield until four tokens have been placed. Each player must place beyond range one of each deployment's own range two of the objective, sabotage, and repair. Yep. So basically, you either place a wound or you have to repair. The victory condition is whoever has more of the other basically wins. So we're going to pop a damage token on that. And I don't really know how much the moisture evaporators are going to have for health, but I'm just going to say they're going to have, they should have three health. Um, sabotage, well, yeah, it should have three health. If you want to completely destroy it. If it's destroyed, it cannot be repaired. Fair enough. So these guys are going to cohege right to here. They do have scouting, so they can technically break away and start running somewhere else. But I don't really know if they. I want that to happen. Because they got good cover right here. I'm going to just keep them chilling right here for now. Alright. Over to the Republic side. We're going to draw from this stack. We are going to have that droid tank. This droid tank is going to be called into the line of duty at this point in time. He's going to be turning down Main Street Avenue, and he's going to have a good old time destroying some separatist units. As for his move for round one... He can see one commando droid, so that technically can act as a fire. Which, yeah, it's 
gonna try and fire at those commando droids. It can see one of them, so it's just gonna. Doof, doof. My bad on my be heart, uh, behalf, but oh well, it's all good. So he goes down. It does have arsenal too? That is disgusting. So they're going to have the beam cannon along with <laughs> the t the freaking lasers. So we're gonna have four red and the rest in doubles for rainbows. All right, commando droids do have heavy cover due to the positioning that they do currently have. Impact, critical, fixed, beam two, and none of that matters. All right, hopefully these guys just make it. Come on. All right, only, oop, I gotta roll one more. All right, only one goes down. That's not too terrible. Just the one that popped out, unfortunately, but, you know, that's just how it goes. Where is he? All right, there we go. Good suppression. That is, of course, the end of that tank's phase. These droids are going to activate. They're going to try to get a little closer to that middle right there. There's the commander. He's going to go right there, and then he's going to go right into contact. Actually, no. He's just going to go over here and fire at Rex. Alright, we're going to be firing at Rex with a grand total of seven white dice. Only two are going to pop off, and Rex is technically behind cover, but the droids have an angle on him, therefore it doesn't count. So Rex is going to have to try and duck out of the way. I don't think it's going to be a problem for the captain himself. Yep, he's just going to slide that on off. Get a little suppression for him, of course. And uh, wherever he is. Oh, Rex. Uh, poof. All right. Going back over here. We're going to be drawn for these guys. We have the speeder for the last move. This guy's going to pop an aim and pop off at <laughs> Grievous. We need to have Grievous taken out as soon as possible. So he's going to throw everything, of course. Being the twin laser gun and the fixed front cannons. Being a very hefty sum of four, no, three white and three black and one red. It's going to be a little interesting of a combo here. And we do have an aim, and we have an aim on top of that aim, actually, because Link Targeting Ray, so there's that. All right, we're going to reroll these. And these. Nothing. That's a shame. All right. Well, Grievous, I think he can deal with us. Speeder takes aim, fires. Grievous looks at it, gets shot in one arm. It's fine. He's got four more left. Doesn't have any surges to use. And he's got a steamed leader, but uh, there's no basic unit troops around him. So that's not really going to do much for him. Oopsies. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing with them battle droids over there, but they're kind of too far and too committed to be going in that general direction to make up any difference at this point. So, Grievous is going to have to take two hits. That's fine. He's, he's a beefy guy. He can take it. He's going to take two suppression as well because he's getting shot up. With that, the clone side has concluded their little introduction. Almost. We're going to be... Oh, I'm gonna deal with them guys. I almost forgot. All right, well, we're gonna draw over here. Grievous is going to. <sighs> he he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Um, Commando droid. These battle droids are gonna deal with the moisture evaporator. They're the foot soldiers. Uh, yeah. By round three or four, they'll be there and they'll be dealing with that. Grievous is done with this BS. He's dealing with these clones first off. I love how the mechanics are of how aggressive he can act when the time is right. And I do believe that time is now. And we're going to have him just run straight into him. Just full locomotive train. Doesn't care about anything else. Just pure rage and spite in his eyes. Yep. Well, I mean, we could go on that speeder. And that would be able to deal with 
a very evasive and hard firing target but i don't think grievous would be able to hop on that branch to do that so i'm not really worried about it magna guards will pop it out of the sky or i'll let it just drive around meanwhile he's gonna just do this almost all right so he has to inch his way so it's gonna be two moves but he has relentless so he's just gonna do that and he's gonna be using both of his trophy sabers being two black making four black and one white making two whites because you get to slice and dice twice it's very nice all within itself uh those clones don't have any damage so i'm not really worried about that ah where did it go where'd you go bro ah there you are all right boom all right oh that's not good <laughs> that's not good at all <laughs> uh so one two two okay well yeah, that's not terrible he's got pierce so yeah two guys are instantly dead <laughs> uh oops and then this guy has to go here around him. Damn. Okay. Well, it, it don't matter. He's got two sabers. Two are gonna die either way. It's uh, it's all good. It's all good in the end. Uh, we're gonna put some suppression on him. He's got the big old monster himself after him. All right. That's the end of Grievous' move. We're gonna draw over here. Hopefully, we get Rex to uh, counteract these droids because they're uh, they're kind of a little annoying. Yep, we do. So he's going to acquire that crate real quick. We're going to draw a card. Ooh, would you look at that? We got Grappling Harpoon. Uh, basically, you got Scale. Uh, cool, I guess. Don't really need that on Rex. I would like to make a mechanic to for him to share this. Uh, chat, what do you think? Uh, remember, we're not in stream, but you know... Uh, let me know for next game. We're just going to have it right there for now. It really doesn't matter that he has that. That's kind of very disappointing. So that's one move wasted. He's then going to open fire on those droids. And since he has gun ho, he'll be... or um, uh, he, he basically could split up the fire. So he's going to be firing at the droids as well as the spider droid. Being six dice in all. Three for each. We're going to do the droids first. Boom. One. <laughs> that's... Mm, rude. He's got sharpshooter, but it's not pierced, so droids take the hit. Okay. Alright, going over the spider droid now. We're gonna pop that off. Spider droid's gonna have to say ow to that, because he's not gonna be able to take yeah, he's gonna have to take all that. He does have armor three. I do believe. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Armor three. Cancels up to three hits. Yep. The other one's a surge, so I do believe Rex will be able to get the crit off on this one. Uh, yep. He will get one crit, so he will get one hit. It's not too terrible. Alright, that's not a bad trade. I'll take it. For what it's worth. Shoots one bullet right in the eye. The spider droid's like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. With that being said, that's the end of the move for Rex. Stack these all back up. Gonna draw from here. We got commando droids we're gonna have. And then we're gonna also draw for the Magna Guards as well as these battle droids right here. Battle droids are going to practically just run right into that bomb. They don't really care. I, I'm not too terribly worried about it. So we're gonna have the battle droids move first, and then Magna Guards, then Commando Droids. Uh, range 2. With this only being a light bomb, it, it's only going to be minimal damage, but we're still going to have this go off. Have blast and impact. One white, or one red and one black. One hit, basically. Yep. That's fine. One sacrifice is a few to the many. Though, I will say, they are panicked because it is suppressive. So, we'll have to worry about that next round. But one will come off by the end of this round, so it doesn't really matter. These Magna Guards are going to activate. They are going to perform their two moves. First one being... Well, first off, they do get an aim because of their ability. The old commander is just going to be strolling up. 
You mean do that? Uh, if you guys aren't really keen on the very sharp movings of this camera, just let me know. Uh, if you know, you try and change stuff along the way, whatever improves video views, all that good stuff. So these guys are gonna just be running out here. They're just gonna be Naruto running. And they're going to be firing at the clones. Grievous is in a teeny bit of trouble. Not too terribly much. But just enough to where I want them to be dealt with first before anything. And I don't really want them to be in base contact with anything just yet. Because that would be putting them a little bit out of range for other moves of such. So their precision darts will do. Even though their electro staffs would be better but it's all good i'd rather have a teeny bit of range a little bit of a gap they do have an aim because of their ability being so close to grievous and for being so mad of taking so many hits in the very beginning they do have a surge to hit and we're gonna re-roll these two and uh, no that's not gonna be a surge so it's gonna be three hits on these clones these clones are a little terrified but not too terribly worried i think they can hold their own they are going to have light cover, so all three are going to be bounced right off. Due to Grievous just being right there, they just hop on out of the way, and now they're panicked a little bit. It's all good, though. All right. That being said, these commando droids are going to now hop on down, and let's see. Gonna have this guy as the commander. He's just gonna hop right there. And then we're gonna have. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna be obnoxious. We're gonna have them pop the X mine right here, I do believe. Anything that's around range one. Yeah, we're going to pop it right there. Now we're just going to have this act as a token. All of them are more or less the same because we are going to detonate this. This is going to deal with Grievous as well as the Magna Guards. And as well as, well, I mean, we could just have them move out of the way. Eh, we won't do that. Never mind. We're not going to use Deoxys Mine just yet. That would be stupid. We're going to have them... Yeah, we're just going to have them open fire on that boyo right there. So I only got one crit off, unfortunately, but out of 10, that's not too terrible. That guy's going to have to roll. It's kind of a 50-50. Let's not get it. Yes! All right, cool. We're starting to get some damage really put in now. The Separatists are great with their numbers and if they're able to keep up the momentum they'll just keep drudging over everything it's great i freaking love it so with that being said uh all of them moved those guys moved i'm gonna have them use their scout their scouting is going to go put them into base contact with that moisture evaporator I really want to say since they have Vibro Swords, they should have more damaging power, but that's going to be stupid, and that would go into a lot of logic conflicts, so I'm not going to worry about that. I do believe that concludes our second round, ladies and gents. We have everybody finally conversing on one another. The clones are being put to their limits and stretched to their absolute limits, while limited visibility is making things more or less a hindrance for everything to be at close range i'm gonna allow the tank because it is on every other round i'm gonna say during well no it, the range does get opened up i shouldn't have fired on them like that but uh it, it's a tank I, i'm not really gonna complain about it limited visibility yeah i'm kind of going against it going against my own uh rules if you'd say but <sighs> There's only so much you can keep track of. I'm, I'm, I'm literally fighting an entire battle and recording this stuff. You know, if you guys are interested, check out the Discord. I'm gonna be putting it in the link in the description. Anybody that's close by or local that's interested to be playing, I will definitely have schedules be posted and whatnot if you guys are interested. But that concludes round two of this, 
and we'll be continuing on tomorrow. If you guys like this, make sure you put a like in this and, uh, you know, the bell, you know, all that good stuff. You already know. Till next time, this is Teaminator signing off. Bye-bye.